Uh, yes, hello, and welcome to our uh, next installment in our series of programs on playing card games solitaire. Uh, we have an item here from an M. Gargan. Uh, oh, he's a private investigator from the city of New York who asks, Hey, card guy, how about a game that is addictive and maybe a little bit dangerous? Well, uh, Mr. Gargan, have we got the game for you. If you are ready, the name of the game is Scorpion. Well, let's give it a shot, if you dare. But first, a quick overview of our deck. Now again, this is a one-pack game, so go ahead and get your uh, standard pack of playing cards. As you know, 52 cards per pack, uh, two colors within, red and black, uh, four suits, and of course, 13 ranks uh, per suit, and that of course is ace through king. Now, let's go ahead and give that pack a shuffle. Uh, we of course recommend shuffling this uh, pack of cards seven times. Uh, which has been mathematically proven to give you the uh, maximum randomness. So the pack is uh, optimized and ready for play. So let's talk about the layout of our game. Now start with a nice clean surface and you will begin by dealing out a row of seven cards like this. Four are down and three are face up. Once you've done that, go ahead and do that two more times. So there will be three rows that look just like this. Next, put your next row where all seven cards are face up. And do that again four times. When you're done, you will have a total of seven rows. And they will be seven cards. Twelve will be face down, as you see upper left. And 37 cards will be face up. This forms your tableau. You will actually have three cards remaining, and that will act as your stock, and you'll see how to use those later. Now remember, every uncovered card is in play, and your job on all uncovered cards is to build down in a run within the suit of that card. And you'll go all the way from king down to ace. Now in the tableau, you can pick up cards individually, you can pick up cards in groups, um, but you have, remember, you have to take all that that card is covering. So if you wanted to take that Jack of Diamonds as an example, you have to take the other four cards on top of it with it. At the end of the game, you'll have four suits arranged from King to Ace. And that is how you win the game of Scorpion. So let's give it a shot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start here with a nice clean surface. I've um, uh, sped it up a little bit here so we can get to it. Uh, seven cards... Um, per row, we're going to do this seven times. The first three have the, uh, the four cards dealt down as you see, so 12 cards facing down, uh, and then the rest facing up. Three cards remain. We'll set those to the side here, and let's give it a shot. So let's begin. Let's study the tableau. See that four of uh, clubs there? Let's see if we can find a three of clubs that can go on top of it. Can't find that. Do we have a two of hearts with that three? Well, we do. Unfortunately, that two is on the very bottom of that column, so everything has to go. Take that two of hearts, put it on the three of hearts, and you fan out the column and be able to study those cards for later. Now, that empty slot uh, can only be occupied by a king. So let's see here. Do we have a king? Let's take that king of diamonds here. Now, again, we have to take everything that's on top of it as well, and that reveals new cards that are the exposed card ready for play. How about that 10 of diamonds? Is there a 9 of diamonds that we can play? Here's a 2 of diamonds. How about taking that ace of diamonds? Because remember, you're building down in the suit. So that ace of diamonds goes on that 2 very nicely. Here's an 8 of hearts and everything on top of it going on that 9 of hearts. Here's a queen of clubs. Now let's go ahead and study all the uncovered cards on our tableau and see what we can find. That 6 of diamonds, I'm sorry, of spades and that 5 of spades play nicely on the 7. That four of clubs can play on the five. Now look at this three of hearts here. We can take that three and four, combine it with the five. Now we've got the beginning of a small run there. Five, four, three of two of hearts. We've also got a nine, eight of hearts. Let's keep an eye on that. We can pick up that eight of spades and put it on the nine of spades. And again, you have to take everything with it. So go ahead and study everything that's open. How about that jack of diamonds? You bet. Let's place it on that queen of diamonds. You can place that five and four on that six. How about that ten? Is there a nine we can grab? You bet. Let's grab that nine and everything on top of it. We've got the makings of a nice little spade run there, which is looking good for us. So go ahead and study the tableau. How about that ten of diamonds? Go ahead and combine it with that jack of diamonds. You've got a three-card run that's beginning on that third column. 
How about that four? Can we do anything with that four of spades? Let's take that four and combine it with the five. Um, put the ace on the two is a good move. What about that five of hearts? We can combine with that six. You can see sometimes these runs get a little long, but that's okay. As long as you've got the table space, you de definitely have the mental acumen to manage all these cards. So now take that two of diamond column and place it on that three. And remember, you have to take everything along with it. And now we've flipped our first uncovered card, which is good news. That four of diamonds and the five of diamonds combine nicely. Uh, and again, that column does tend to grow a little bit, uh, but we're going to manage. Okay, queen of spades. How about that jack of spades? Let's take that card and everything on top of it and move it accordingly. How about that nine of clubs? You bet. Put it on top of that ten. And good, we can reveal a flipped card here. That ten of clubs can go on the jack, but look right next door. What's waiting? We're going to put that jack on that queen very shortly. There we go. Now we've got a jack and a 10 and a 9. Uh, we've got the beginnings of a nice run there, and we've uncovered a flipped card. So you can see we're building some momentum here. Uh, runs are beginning to kind of coagulate and grow together, uh, and your job is to manage and move runs, uh, continually building down within a suit. Look at this nice long run, 10 all the way to ace. That's looking good. If we can combine that with a jack and a queen, we'll be sitting pretty. Here's a 10 of diamonds. Do we have a 9? Study that tableau. How about that 4? Is there a 3 of clubs available? Is there an ace of clubs available? Okay, we're out of moves at the moment. So that means it's time to loosen things up with one of our card from our stock. Where's the best place for this king? Place it in a way where maybe we can grab that queen of spades. Do you see it? So let's place that somewhere where then we can grab our queen of spades run, place it on top of the king, and now we reveal the flipped card. And this opens up a lot of moves for us. Now that seven of diamonds can join uh, its partner. We can take that queen of hearts and everything that's on top of her and place it on that king of hearts. We've got an empty position now. And again, that empty position can only be taken by king. So let's take that king of spades and claim that empty position. And now we pause a moment. We look at our tableau here. Okay, let's use our card from our stock. Oh, only one left here. Let's make this one count. We've got a king of clubs, and there's also a queen of clubs run on your left if you see it. So let's park the king here. Let's take that queen of clubs and everything on top, place that column, and now we've got a new card to play with. We can move that ace of spades to the two, and now we can move that six of hearts right on top of that seven. And look, grab that seven and put it right back on that ace. You can see we're filling in some gaps. We're growing these runs within suits. Uh, every rank in descending order. Got the nine, the eight, and the seven of clubs. We're beginning to consolidate and organize. Now that five of diamonds, we've got a long <laughs> column here to manage, but we can put it all together right on top of that six here. And now we can pick up that two of spades and join it to the three. And this is good news, because now we can reveal a flipped card and put that three of clubs where it belongs, right on top of the four. What can we do with that open position? Well, do we have any any kings that are available here? Let's do some organization here. We move that queen of diamonds onto the king. That's looking favorable here, very favorable. Um, what we should do now is claim that empty slot here, take that king. This is a nice run from king all the way down to seven. And then we can pick up that six and look at this. We've got one entire run from king all the way to ace. We've closed out that suit. That is, that is good news for us. We only have three more to go. We can take that 10 of spades and put it on top of there. And look at that, another suit closed. We've got two. Two out of four. It's feeling pretty good. What other moves do we have here? What do we need? Well, we're kind of in a locked position here. Because remember, we need a nine of diamonds. We need a jack of hearts. There's only two cards left. Can you guess what those cards are? I certainly can. Let's flip them and see. Look at that. We are only two cards away. Two cards away from having won the game. And well. That's how addictive this game is. Uh, best bet here is just to take those cards, grab them, shuffle again, and try your hand again at Scorpion. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this game. I think it's just a lot of fun to play. As you can see, it's easy to set up. It has a pace. It's addictive because it can be won. But like most times you handle a Scorpion, you're going to get stung more often than you're not. Anyway, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us. And hey, oh. Be sure to join us again next time.